Hello, this is Mr. G again. How you guys how are you doing today? Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be work. Uh, so today we're going to be working with barometric pressure pattern. What we're looking at when we're looking at the station models is we're going to be working with um, the barometric pressure reading, which is all. Just to remember, this is like the shorthand form. So, for example, if I'm taking a look at Winnipeg right here, um, Winnipeg. Is it says that I have 120. Uh, 120 is actually like shorthand, so I would have to convert that back in millibars and to do so because that number is below. If I would actually write that number, which is 120, I'd put a decimal place before the last, and then what I would do, let's make sure you can see this here, I would put a 10 in front of it. So my actual reading is 1,012 millibars, all right? So just to kind of, uh, here, there is a lot of readings here on this map. So I'm gonna kind of help you out a little bit with this, um, this way to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Uh, what we're gonna do is, I already know that there is, I know the pattern of this map. So what's gonna end up happening here is, is really we're gonna see two sets of words. Um, one is going to be on the west coast of the United States, the other one's going to be on the east the west coast of the United States first. So if I look um, I can see that Salt Lake City has the highest there's also if I kind of work my way out I see 200, I see uh, 160. So the procedure says on map B we have to use a pen. points of equal barometric pressure use a four millibars alright so we're going up every four millibars so I'm gonna already tell you how many what uh, readings we're gonna need ahead of time so we are going to 160 bar a 200 and a 240 okay on this side of the map alright so what we're going to do is we're going to actually 60 to see if we can kind of come up with a pattern here. So what you do is take your highlighter and highlight everywhere where you see 160. So I see here, here, also I see 160. And that is pretty, uh, and there's one other one right here. So as you can see here, I'm starting to see somewhat of a circular pattern. All right. So the next thing that you have to do is now you have to draw your ISO bar, which is a line of equal barometric pressure. So I would connect that 160. Phoenix will uh, connect to Roswell. 160 would be between Denver and Oklahoma City. So I'll continue to follow on down through San Francisco, and then from Phoenix to San Francisco. 1016.0 line kind of following those rules that we set. So the next line that we're going to do is going to be, so that one's done. So the next do is we're going to look everywhere, highlight everywhere I see 200, 200, 200, 200. Right? Once again, I should see somewhat of a pattern. I should see a, a circular pattern. And remember, isobars kind of follow the same path as the previous line. So I would connect those together here, make a nice smooth movement, and I would label 20.0 millibars. And the last line that we're going to need here is a 240 line. As I can see here, here's 200, there's that there would be a circle, like all these readings in between here would be somewhere already. So you could just make a circle and that was going to be 1,020. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the other side of the map. If I take a look at the the eastern side, I'm just trying to arrange it here so you can see it. Um, the readings are going to be a lot less. All right. So if I take a look here, the line. I'm just grabbing a pencil. So see some circular patterns as well but for here 
uh, they're going to be a lot less. These are going to be a, a, lot, uh, a lot lower readings. So the readings that we're going to need here is I'm going to need a, a lot four zero an 080 number line and, and a 0 or actually not 0 it's going to be a 120 line okay the reason for that is because we're going to be 040 which is 1004 millibars so we're going to start with that number right there so first thing you do is everywhere you see 040 highlight it 040 0 Zero, and I see three of them. I should see Chicago, Detroit, and the city that is in the middle of Kentucky. All right, without a name, the nameless city. Uh, I can see it. So it follows a circular pattern. So right here is going to be my 1,004.0 line. That one's done. I'm going to do as I'm going to do the zero eight line. All right. Once again, grab your highlighter, highlight everywhere you see zero. That circular pattern right here. Now, before I actually connect my circles, I'm going to kind of put like myself a little bit of placeholders here. I know that this is zero, uh, zero for a little dot right there, so this way I know where my line is going to go through. And what I can do then is connect all of the station model, not the number itself. And then as it cruise on down, is going to be my 1008.0 line. One more left to go, and there's the bell. I'll come back with the remainder of this.